Hello, welcome back. I haven't posted a video in a while. Now we are back with more jailbreak tweaks. Today I would like to share you 10 more jailbreak tweaks that are compatible with iOS 13. Now we're gonna go to the first one. And if you take a closer look on my dock, you're gonna see it looks the same as on the iPad. And we have floating dock. And on the left side, we have the default dock icon. And from the right side, you're gonna find Reason app, which is the app that you have just opened and like Facebook, Messenger, and even Settings. And these are the apps that I have just opened and they are stay in multitasking. And this is um, just the feature just like the iPad. Now I'm gonna go back to Settings and we have floating dock, so we can just fire up like that to bring the docs, so it is very useful. And for this import trick, it is called Dock Controller. Now when you go to this one, you can choose between default, iPhone, iPhone 8 or the iPad and you can select uh, many different choices and if you have all the iPhone, you can select on iPhone 8 and then it's gonna show the dock and, and make your iPhone look like iPhone 8 and I can just go to iPhone here or go to default so you have many different choices For those of you that tired with default control center, now you can customize with customize CC which allow you to customize your control center you can change color on many different elements on control center we have connectivity we have media and you can customize brightness and volume you can even customize toggle and launchers now if I go to my control center you're gonna find um, we have many different color on on each element so like media player right here on connectivity, we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They are all in different color and on the brightness bar and even the volume. So you can select and customize anything from here and you can just select the color just like that. If you are using the new iPhone, like the iPhone XS, you're gonna encounter dual SIM, which allow you to use dual SIM at the same time, which means you can use two carrier, but for the iPhone 8, you cannot do that, but you can fake them by using the tweaks, so it's gonna show exactly the same thing on your carrier. You're gonna see two carriers at the same time, but for this one, it's gonna fake. So I'm gonna go to control center, and you can find just like that, and have one carrier. And actually, this is the iPhone 8 with, with only one SIM card, but we're gonna see um, dual carrier and it is it look exactly like the iphone xs and it look really really cool move on to the next simple tweak which allow you to disable scroll bar now throughout your system you're gonna notice while you are scrolling there is no scroll bar anymore and on the side you cannot find the scroll bar because the tweak will completely disable that let's go to the next one here for this one i cannot show you on the screen but you're gonna find it very funny when you change the pitch and you change the rate here. You're gonna hear the sound from Siri. You're gonna hear in in a different pitch and rate. And I find it very funny. So, so you can try the tweak out. This is the tweak that I am really want. And for this one, it let you run the application that you have chosen. It's gonna let that application to run in multitasking and it is very good so for example i can go to applications and i can choose the application to force running in background mode which means that application that i have just enabled it's gonna run all the time in background mode especially when you are using download manager in safari so you can just enable safari and then it's gonna allow safari to run in background mode all the time let's go to sort moji I have already show you in the previous video but this one it is a big update and now when you go to my keyboard you can see we have emoji on predictive bar and at the bottom you can find the shortcut key where you can copy, cut, paste or you can just delete it so and on the top here you can find emoji from the predictive bar and you can customize all of these in settings and I'm gonna go back to settings and then you can go to keyboard and you can also customize the color on keyboard while you are using the tweaks and for example I can just go to app store and now when I go to the keyboard in the app store 
you're gonna find it is in blue it is depend on the app icon let's say I go to iTunes store now let's let's go to search you're gonna find we have another color on the keyboard so it is based on the app icon and you can customize from setting here go back to settings and you can see keyboard color here you can also change for this one or you can just select based on the app icon that I have just demonstrated you at the moment you have more than that you can go to predict bar here and we have bottom bar especially for the iPhone 8 it is a simple trick which bring back haptic feedback while you are liking the picture in Twitter so you can just hit on the heart icon and then it gonna give you a haptic feedback so this is the simple trick that just does like that move on to the next one which let you disable the subtle sound so now when you taking a photo or taking a video there is no sound anymore even though your phone isn't mute you cannot hear the subtle sound while you are using the iPhone throughout the time you can see the suggestion app at the bottom while you are go to multitasking or go to switcher and now if you don't want to see that you can install it with which gonna disable suggestion app while you are going to multitasking so it gonna completely disable the application that, that it is suggested by default and finally saying for watching i hope you like all of these tweaks and one more thing if you want to get these themes it is the themes that i am created and i have just uploaded into package it is going to available soon you can get it from there 